Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be building a gallery wall. My favorite thing to do in any house, any apartment that we've lived in. Um, I'm gonna actually show a few of my old gallery walls. But this one, I really wanted to be intentional with what prints I put in there. I wanted to support a lot of my favorite artists, artists that live in New York City or artists that also I've just come across on Instagram and really, really love their work. So I incorporated a lot of that. And I'm also gonna show you the entire process from creating a layout that works well around a TV and how I go about doing that. I'm also going to take you along to some of my favorite thrift stores because there are some places that I really love to go looking for frames or looking for prints. There's so many ways to just reflect your personal style through the art that you choose to put in your home and just having all of the art together is just like, just takes it up a notch. I'm also excited because this is really the foundation of our living room and the living room is where we spend most of our time. So I'm just excited for this project. So we will go ahead and get started. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm usually sharing more frequent updates over there at Pretty in the Pines. So you can find me there on Instagram and we will go ahead and get started right now. Oh wow, we should get that. I also wanted to mention if you have a design program, I use Canva to design like rooms and you can just drag and drop like furniture or really any photo on top of other photos just to give you an idea of a room design but I wanted to show you so this is some things that I've done way before we moved in here um, but this is what I do for a gallery wall just take a picture of your empty wall with the furniture just so you know like where the gallery will start and then you just add drag and drop pictures of frames pictures of artwork that you like and I put a check mark over once I have like the frame, the print, everything, and it's ready to go, but this kind of just gives you an idea of what might look good. When it comes to creating a layout for the frames, I usually use some sort of paper to map it all out. You can use wrapping paper, newspaper, even cardboard. Hopefully by now you have an idea of what size art you would like, but if not, I'd recommend using cutouts of standard frame sizes, such as 11 by 14, 16 by 20, 18 by 24, 8 by 8, just to give you a general idea of your options. I cut out sizes of frames I already had in addition to a few sizes I knew I had in artwork, but not yet frames. Okay, so here is our issue, is that I have three different gold frames and I want them to look more like, kind of like this one. But this one is very, very yellow, so I'm going to attempt to use this product, Rub and Buff. This is gonna be an experiment. So this is really my main, I, I'm fine with these two. I think these look very antique -y, but this one is not. I like, this was from um, Amazon. So my goal is to make this one a little less yellow, but this is European gold. They come in a few different shades, so this might work, it might not work but I have a little washcloth here. So I'm going to brush it on. I know a lot of people, when they use this, they just use their finger, but I just, I'm not in the mood for that, so. Ooh, I think this is gonna be good. This is going to, this is gonna be perfect. This is gonna be great, but I'm gonna go put some tape on here, just so I don't mess up the 
glass part of the frame. Honestly, I feel like I'm going, it's gonna make me wanna go all around the apartment and <laughs> add it to every gold thing that I have. So these three frames are going to be the only, the only brass ones that I incorporate into the gallery wall. I like to incorporate different, maybe like pick two or three colors and then have multiples of that color. So in this gallery wall, I think I've decided on white, brass, and light wood, which is an interesting combination. There are also glazes that you can buy, but I don't have any of that. I don't want it to look too perfect. I want it to look old and kind of like the bottom layers are like still, still, still visible. Okay, I love that. And I like how the original is just peeking out in areas. And I ordered the most beautiful prints to go inside of this. So I'm hoping they arrive pretty soon. They're from an artist that I found on Instagram forever ago, Hannah Winters. She also created this print, which I think is just the color she uses. The one will go in here and to find another. I think I have an eight by eight. I might attempt to put a tiny bit on there, maybe. And I think then this would all match a little bit better, but mm, I might regret that. Whatever, I'm gonna go for it. They look so similar now. They all have like the same shade of brass. So I think that's going to make the whole gallery wall look a lot more cohesive. And then I'll add in a couple of light wood frames and maybe a couple of white. So, gosh, this frame is so pretty. This might be like my favorite frame I've ever found. It's so ornate. And then I'll also link these if you just want to go ahead and purchase one. So this one was from Wayfair. This is from Amazon, but I do think that if you get those two, you might want to also buy some of this, which is in European gold. My preferred way to attach the frames to the wall is by using command strips, the ones specifically made for hanging picture frames. I've used these in the past and haven't had any issues, but I will say that when it comes to hanging a super heavy frame, I'll just use nails and just accept the fact that we're going to have to fill the nail holes in the end. completed and I love how it turned out. I ended up using a mix of gold, dark brown, and light wood frames. So I really love how it kind of looks cohesive because I think these two go together and these kind of go together because they're just the same colors. This is the one we found at the Brooklyn flea market. The artist was there herself and I'll link her website as well. It's a bicycle and this is from my friend Kesia 
She lives right down the street from us and is one of the most talented people that I know. She has a lot of illustrations of flowers and animals and this is just one of my favorite, favorite ones that she did. This we found at the thrift store, Housing Works. It's a 1766 survey of the plan of the city of New York. It's like lower Manhattan. I just thought that was so cool. We found it, I can't believe we found this for like $5. This frame caught my eye at another Housing Works thrift store location and I just knew that I had to have it. The frame, the frame and the artwork itself was just like beautiful. I love these flowers. I love the colors and everything about it. Um, and I love the overall like very vintage feel. This one down here is just a filler image. I'm waiting, actually waiting for something that is an eight by 10 size. And then these three are actually all the same artist, Hannah, um, Hannah Winters. Her art is just like one of my like top three favorites. I just love the color she uses. They're like modern day paintings that she does, but to me, they kind of look older than they are. And then I'll also link where I found the frames. I, I told you where I found these two brass ones and then most, all the dark ones I've had for, they were in our old apartment. Um, and then this was from Housing Works. And this wooden one right here was from a company called Simply Framed, which is a little on the expensive side, but I needed something a very specific size and they can do custom sizes. So Simply Framed is where this one is from. This photo that is within our Samsung Frame TV is actually a photo that I took last fall and it's in my Etsy shop. So I will be sure to link that if you're interested. It's just a quick like file that you can download and then upload to your TV. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed putting it together because I just love creating gallery walls, but let me know if you have any suggestions for video topics in the future. I have a few ones planned for later this month and I'm just really enjoying creating these videos. So I appreciate every single person who subscribed. It really is very encouraging. I really hope that this was helpful. Hopefully you found some tips that you can use in your own home and I will see you next time.